Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Grounded. So we're going to cover the four chest locations in this game right now and the four keys that are needed to access those quests. Starting off with the Mossy Key and the Sunken Treasure Chest. This is going to be a quest that you can get from Burgle, and I highly recommend having the Bubble Helmet and Fin Flops uh, at least to start with. I don't think you can have the Fin Flops Plus until you get the, uh, the Sunken Outpost Chest. We're going to go ahead and jump in here. Obviously, if you have Mertine, that's a huge boost. If not, then you can use smoothies and stuff like that to get down there. We're going to go ahead and jump down, and uh, we're going to go by the Sunken T-Rex. You can see right here, Sunken T-Rex is uh, pretty much north of us. We're going to jump in here, and right near the T-Rex is going to be where the chest is. And then we'll work our way over to the Pond Lab entrance, and then we'll show you where to get the Mossy Key from that spot. So let's go ahead and dive in here. Obviously, watch out for the, uh, the Water Spiders, and watch out for Trudy, the Koi Fish. They get you, it can be a pain. And one thing to keep an eye out for is these bubbles right here that leak from these uh, these cut uh, water tubes right here. They will refill your uh, oxygen levels. So here's the sunken T-Rex right here. We're gonna go ahead and keep going down a little bit lower. This is also where you're gonna get your muddy scales and your, uh, your sunken bones here. So let's head over here and we're gonna keep heading north a little bit, or west rather. And in your adventures, you're probably going to encounter this chest right here. This is the sunken chest right here. If we can get a little bit of light on it. You can see it right here. So we've already opened it. But what I want to show you is that's where the chest is. Really close to the entrance right here. Now we're going to make our way over to the pond lab. And then uh, we'll show you where that key is. So we're going to jump over here real quick. And we'll show you where that is here in a second. All right. So we're approaching the entrance to the pond lab right here. One thing that I can tell you guys is uh, when you are coming through here, you're going to see... These little bubbles and everything like this there's little vents right here that will actually push you forward and give you a huge speed boost just to get over to this point right here where we're at at the uh, pond lab that's where you first enter the pond lab <clears throat> so we're gonna go up here and get some oxygen refill this and we're gonna go from this point down into the area where the uh, where the actual mossy key is for that chest you can see we're just at the entrance right here pond lab pond dome so let's head back down in here. Head straight out the way we were coming. The way that we came in. And we're going to head sharp down and right over here to this area. To the right. So there's a little cave right here. And this cave is going to go all the way down in here. And as you get to the closer and closer, there's going to be a bunch of diving bell spiders. So make sure you have a spear or a dagger or something that you can fight yourself off or... Uh, defend yourself against you can get in there without fighting them it's a little bit tricky though so if you don't have your smoothies or uh mertine then uh definitely make sure that you get some of those you can see one one diving bell spider right there here's a second one we're going to keep heading down into this area you'll see the bubbles coming up from the pipe down in here a tube down in here so where you're going to go, the key is going to be resting literally right here. So you can go ahead and come down here, snatch that mossy key, and then just kind of book it back out of here and not even have to deal with the diving bell spiders. There's going to be some other stuff. There's going to be some, um, I believe, brittle marble shards and stuff like that down here. But if you're just looking for the key and that's what we're focusing on getting right here, then that's how you get the key. And I would highly recommend once you come back out of the cave, if you don't have uh, a lot of oxygen to breathe, Head back into the pond lab and then go ahead and refill your oxygen. We're going to go ahead and do that now just to showcase it. Come back right up into the entrance of the pond lab. Refill your oxygen. And then we're going to go ahead and head right back out to where the, uh, where the chest was. So head back out just the way we came. And now you see this, this, this whole area is all lit up now. You can come back here. You will need more oxygen to come back because all of those vents are pushing you towards the pond lab not away from the pond lab and there's no way to reverse that so obviously when you're swimming back this way make sure you keep an eye on your stamina as well as avoiding these vents because they'll just push you back on your way out we head back over here and like i said uh right over near the t-rex you can see the t-rex's eyes and right down here is where the chest is we come right up on top of it unlock the chest and you're going to unlock the uh the items that you need and I believe this is going to give you access to the splat burst recipe. Once you turn the uh, sunken uh, chest chip into Burgle, it's going to give you access to the splat burst recipe. I believe the fin flops plus recipe, as well as the slime lantern plus recipe. 
all for varying amounts of raw science, but definitely uh, highly useful if you get the Fin Flops Plus recipe, as well as the uh, the Slime Lantern Plus, because it's going to make it last a little bit longer. And the Fin Flops Plus themselves will actually make your um, your swimming a lot faster. We'll go ahead and show you here. So it's going to increase your sprint distance and your swim speed. Light armor, you're not worried about that. But then the Slime Lantern Plus that you'll unlock, we'll go ahead and check that out. Right here, it's gonna be a, last a lot longer than your typical torch. Just like when you unlock torch and then torch plus, it's just gonna increase your duration of the slime lantern plus. So, there's your sunken chest chip, and there's your mossy key and sunken chest itself. Let's go ahead and jump to the next one, which is gonna be the minotaur maze key. All right, so for the minotaur maze key, the minotaur maze is gonna be located up inside of the uh, castle on top of the picnic table. And in order to access the uh, picnic table, you're gonna need a splat burst or a brat burst to blow up some rocks over by the uh, shovel here. And then at that point, you'll blow up the rocks underneath the shovel, and then it'll create the uh, leading shovel right here, which gives you access up to the picnic table. Now to get the key, we're gonna show you guys where we're at here. So we're over here at the Busta Dance uh, Jam cassette tape here, just west of the Mysterious Machine. You can see almost perfectly west. We're gonna head right over here, past the leading shovel, over to this exposed pipe right here. And that's where our key is going to be. So before you go do this, you're going to need a tier 2 dagger to cut some of the roots down in there. So let's head over there. From right here, we're kind of right in between the picnic table and the uh, sandbox. And I want to show you this. There's this little patch of water right down here that we approach right here. And down here, you're going to see once we uh, just kind of hug the water to get to this area. Don't get stuck in the grass like that. Keep running over here, and here is your exposed pipe right here. Now you don't need Bertine. You don't need the uh, fin flops or anything for this. You can just head right in here. You're gonna find some marble over there, some quartzite in here. This area right here is where you're gonna need to go down into. And let me go ahead and equip my uh, tier two dagger right here. This is just a spider fang dagger. Any tier two dagger will be fine. Bone dagger is tier two. You can't use a pebblet dagger, so it's gonna have to be the spider dagger or the uh, or the bone dagger. Your tier two daggers are gonna be able to uh, cut this down. So if you have Bertine by this point, go ahead and throw it on. We have it on right here. You're gonna go down right here, so you can get in first person, and off to the left over here. You're gonna come over this way, down under here, you're gonna see a little bit of glowing from the slimes. There's gonna be some, uh, some roots right here that you're gonna cut through with your tier two dagger, and then the key is gonna be sitting right here. Now that key is gonna take you up to the Minotaur chest up on the, uh, on the picnic table. And that's going to have inside of it a few things. It's going to be the picnic table chip that another uh, quest that Burgle might give to you. And that's going to contain um, a sign set for food stuff. And one, more importantly, it's going to give you the scab scanner for milk molars. That way you'll be able to find all the milk molars when you get close. Your scabby will start uh, going off on that. And also what's changed with that is this is the recipe that's going to give you the mint mace. One of the best weapons of the game. You can see it right here. I still use it uh, this late in the game. So... All right, now that's the Minotaur Maze Key. Let's go ahead and get the Melted Moat Key and the chest over by the Sandcastle Moat. All right, so now we're over here in the Sandbox and we're looking for the Melted Moat Key. Now, when you go into the lab in the Sandbox right here, Sandbox Lab Outpost, there's going to be a piece of paper and the whiteboard that's going to show you, kind of give you a clue on where to find this key. You can see where we're at right now. This is the exact location to find the key. Typically, the, the clue on the whiteboard says you have to find it at 3.30 in the afternoon. You can actually dig up the key at any time. It doesn't have to be specifically at 3.30 in the afternoon. It tells you that because that's where the shovel right here, where the light will shine through the shovel right on the spot that you need. So if you can look where we're at right here on the map, I'm going to give you an idea right here. So go ahead and take a screenshot, whatever you need to do to look at that, exactly where we are on the map. Kind of right in the between the, uh, in the middle of the northeast corner. A little bit northeast of the uh, the shovel here. So the, the light will shine right here. You're going to need your black ant shovel to dig up the uh, the treasure, so to say. Go ahead and dig up here. You'll get your key. And then we'll take you right over to where this key is going to go. Now, if you haven't been here before, you're definitely going to need to do this um, being prepared. So some salty weapons for the uh, ant lions. Or if you do it at nighttime, you don't have to worry about the, uh, the sizzle. But if you're doing it during the daytime... You'll want antlion armor or at least fresh defense for the uh, sizzle protection. So the key is gonna, the key for the chest is gonna be right over here. The chest is over in the moat of the sandcastle here. 
So we can go over here and uh, off to the side, on the left side of the sandcastle. Again, you won't need Martine for this. You are going to be in the water. You can run past all these antlions right here. They're not going to come in the water. But you'll see a chest over here on the left side of the sandcastle. This is what the melted moat key will unlock right here. And I believe there's a milk molar as well as the waterlogged recipe that's going to grant you access to the Salt Morning Star. Salt Morning Star is also one of the best weapons of the game right here because it's a one-handed salt weapon and you can see the, the amount of stun that it uh, has on it right here. So you can use this with the, sword, or with the Salt Morning Star itself and a shield and do a lot of damage, especially to a lot of the other insects in the yard later on in the game are weak to salty. So you're definitely going to want this right here. All right, so that's this one. Now let's get into the upper yard where we're looking for the sticky key to get us a really useful uh, weapon for late game. All right, everybody. So now we're going to make our way over to the sticky key and uh, sticky key location in the chest that's required uh, to open it. And this is going to give you a really good item for uh, end game. We haven't tried them out yet, but I'm excited to. So let's head over here. You see where we're at? We're at our base right now. We're going to be taking our zip line over to the edge over here. We're going to work our way over to the tire. This is where the chest is under the uh, the water here. And then we're going to work our way over to where the actual key is. So let's get to it. We're going to head, go ahead and jump over to where the tire is. So we'll be right back. All right, so we're approaching the tire over here. And one thing I want to tell you guys is just make sure you're prepared. If you haven't seen my other videos about the, this upper yard area, you definitely need to be prepared for this. So we're going to go ahead and jump up here. You can see this is the tire area. And right down here, we have a big old puddle of water down inside of here. And you can see a milk molar scab going off. Because there is a milk molar inside of this chest. So you can see the chest right down here. That's where the chest is that we need for the sticky key. Now the hard part is actually getting the sticky key. So let's go ahead and jump over that area and uh, we'll show you how to get it. Alright, so we're over here next to the collapsible ladder. You can see right here on a location. Uh, I have a little resting spot right over here. We're kind of almost right in the middle of the uh, northeast corner of the map up here. What you're going to want to do, you see all these vines going up here. There is one particular spot, not these last two uh, supports right here, but this one right over here. This is where you're going to want to go up from right here. So we're going to take this up right here. Then you're going to want to jump off to the right over here onto this plant. And then from here, you're going to jump over to the brick, the stone wall itself. Then you need to head uh, east from here, jump up over here. This will give you access to this branch right here. So you want to jump over to this one. Make sure you have a dandelion tuft just in case you fall. And then slowly make your way up all the way up here. You should be able to walk all the way up. Just be careful for the uh, little vines sticking out so they don't knock you down. You should be able to just walk uh, pretty easily all the way up here. You're going to get up here. There's going to be this little one right here. Just hang off to the left and take your time. Then you can get up on the ladder right here. So this is where we are right here as you can see we're on top of the ladder uh, if you go across over here there should be some raw science over here on the right as we move our way down this way there it is you can see it right there we're gonna move our way down a little bit back over here up to this weed we're gonna be climbing up this one right here so as you can see now we're gonna jump over here onto this one and again be very careful we're doing jack and the beanstalk uh, stuff here this part's a little tricky just slowly walk around the, uh, the side of these um, these uh, pieces sticking out right here, these little stems, because they can knock you down. This one, if you just want to jump up, it's a lot easier. And we're doing the same thing we did down there. Jump up onto this one right here. And this is going to take us all the way up to where the uh, sticky key location is. Just walk all the way up here. You're going to get to a point right here where you can't uh, walk anymore. You should be able to do one little jump up here. And this piece of gum right here, this is where the sticky key is going to be located. So jump over here. Now you can look down and see all of the uh, the work you had to do to get up there. Make sure you have your black ant shovel. If you don't buy now, then uh, you're messing up. We're going to go ahead and dig up this gum. There should be two mint pieces right here too. There were when I came up here. And now we have our location of the sticky key right here. So now we can grab this and now we can go head back over to the chest that's over in the uh, tire so let's go ahead and do that i'll meet you guys over there all right so we're back at the tire let's go ahead and drop down and we're going to use the uh, key down to this chest here one big thing i will tell you guys is that there are spiny water fleas in here and like i said when they gang up on you they can be hard to uh take care of so we're gonna go ahead and get in here real quick open this chest 
get our molar our molar and make sure we grab the waterlogged recipe number two here which will allow us to uh begin to craft bomb arrows so all right everybody that is all four chests in the game right now and i don't see there being any more added uh but there's all your key locations and chest locations and the rewards inside of them. Some of them are going to have some milk molars. So be uh, make just make sure when you open the chest, you go ahead and get everything that's inside of there. So with that being said, everybody, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. As always, stay rich, my friends. Later. Hey, thanks again for watching, everybody. If you like that video, go ahead and check out one of these videos right here. Thanks. Bye.